What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. In this episode, we're going to be covering all of the lines of sight, jumps, and spots that I know of on the map Whiteout. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting it off, as always, we're going to cover Domination Capture Spots. For the A flag, I love capturing it just right here because it gives you a lot of cover from the guys on the ridge there, and it also gives you a little bit of cover from the top window of the boathouse. Moving on to the B flag, this is one of the most difficult flags to capture in the game sometimes because it's such a tight area and it's really easy to get naded or stunned when you're in the B flag area. What I like to do most of the time is basically just stand up and fight, so I just want to stay on my feet and mobile and just make sure I'm looking in the direction that the enemy should be coming from and try and fight it out. And a lot of times I like to just pop out and take them by surprise. But another option is to jump on top of this barrel here. And usually that's not the first place that people look. So it might give you just that split second of advantage that you need to uh, win that gunfight against somebody coming around the corner to defend the B flag. So finally for the C flag, this one's pretty straightforward and open. I like to just basically capture it right behind the ridge here so that nobody can get a line of sight on me from way across the map there or from where the logging area is. Uh, basically just forces my enemies to come up close to me and fight that way. But another option is to jump up on this rock next to it and capture from there. And that just might be a place that nobody really expects to look. Okay, so we're going to start towards the A flag and then we're going to do a loop around the map. So a lot of people aren't aware that you can actually jump on this vehicle here and then jump across to this roof. And then from here you can also jump to this little uh, overhang part on this roof as well. And you can cr go under the sign here and you get a really nice line of sight to that ridge. Or you can also jump back this way and from this roof you get a really nice uh, line of sight into this area so if people are coming through there you can pick them off easily. For this building here, unfortunately to my knowledge you cannot jump from this vehicle into the window. It looks like you can but I tried several times and I wasn't able to do it. So maybe it's possible and I just missed it but to my knowledge you can't do it. You can however jump into this window here from the ridge. Now just outside that building you can actually jump onto this green electrical box thing right here and from there you can actually jump straight across to this thing and it's really not the most useful spot you are exposed out here but sometimes people like to hang out here and maybe you'll use it to uh, take one guy su by surprise or something like that as they come around the corner and you can also do it from this side by jumping on the barrel and then mantling up. Now over here is one of my favorite spots on this map to use and it's great for defending against people that are coming through this area right here. All you have to do is jump up on top of this fence right here, and there you go. You have a really nice head glitch over top here, and you can pick people off as they come through there. And there's no way they're going to be looking there for you. And you also get a little bit of a line of sight towards the top part of the ship there. It's not really common for people to be up there, but sometimes people are there, and you can pick them off from here. Moving on to this building right here, this is a really popular place for snipers to be because it offers such great lines of sight. And while it does have good lines of sight, you're also exposing yourself quite a bit by being out in these windows. Now instead of exposing yourself in the windows there, a great alternative is to jump on top of this toolbox right here. And then you can look through this little crack in the window there. And you get a really nice line of sight into the ship. And then from back here you also get a line of sight onto that ridge where the snipers love to hang out. So that's just a really great alternative. And another one is right here you jump on these barrels. And you get a really, really nice line of sight right there. This is great for first bloods because people will come from the C flag and they'll funnel right through that area trying to get to the B flag. Now just outside that building here, you can actually jump on top of this big pole on the boat. And you can go right up to the top of it if you want, although I don't know why you'd want to because you'll be really exposed. Um, you can't jump to this area right here, but there is a really nice glitch spot right there. And I'm not going to show you the glitch spot though because I don't do that on my channel. If you guys want to find that, you can look elsewhere. But from right here, if you go down the pole a little bit, you get a really nice line of sight to that ridge, and all you have to do is crouch and you're completely behind cover. Now, as you come towards the sea flag here, this is probably one of the most useful spots that you'll see in this video. And instead of coming around this corner and battling people on the ridge, which is what most people would do, you can actually jump right here onto this tree and then just kind of edge your way up and there you go. You get a little bit of a head glitch over top and you can just pick them off that way. There's no way they're gonna expect you to be coming that way. So you'll take them out basically every time. Now if you're on top of the ship right here and you want to take out the guys that are in the windows of the building we were just in, instead of doing it from back here, the best way to do it is to come over here, jump on top of this railing right here, and there you go. You have a really nice line of sight over top. All you have to do is crouch and you have lots of cover, and you can pick those guys off in the windows. 
Moving on to this ridge by C, most people will snipe from right around this area. And instead of doing that, a much better way that i found is to jump on this rock here and it gives you much more cover. Now moving on to this logging building right here, there is a bomb site in here and oftentimes you'll want to watch this doorway because people will come from there. And all you have to do is jump up on top of these rocks and sort of edge your way over towards this area. And there you go, right through that window, you can see through that door, you can shoot through there as well and maybe pick someone off. And also from up here, you get a line of sight into that really popular choke point right there. And a lot of people like to funnel through there and you can pick off some nice easy kills. Now if you're coming from this direction and you want to jump up to there without going all the way around and jumping across, you can actually just mantle up here and then mantle again. And that's just a really quick and easy way to get up. It may look obvious, but I didn't know about it until I tested it in this video. Now over here, this is probably obvious to a lot of you, but some of you guys may not know that you can actually jump from this ridge on top of the roof right here. And then from here you can also jump around to the other part of the roof, or you can just use this for lines of sight. And once again, I know you guys probably know this, or most of you do, but there may be somebody out there that doesn't. And from on top of this roof here, you can actually jump right inside to the second story of the log cabin, and you can get some lines of sight from there. Now if you're on the bottom floor and you want to get to the second floor without using the stairs, all you have to do is hop up on this chair and then jump and mantle up. Now in the second story bathroom here, a lot of people don't know you can just hop up on the toilet and you get a really nice line of sight through there and a little bit of a line of sight towards the A flag there. And another thing that some people don't know is you can actually jump out the window and end up on the roof here. And that can be really useful if maybe you're up in the second story and you hear somebody coming up the stairs and you don't want to challenge them, you can just jump out the window and then go for a little flank on them or something. And they'll have no idea what hit them. Alright, so now for my last spot, it's at the B flag, and this only works if you spawned at the A flag, because that means you have the grey uniforms that blend into the rocks. And if you hop up in this area right here, you're almost invisible. It's actually amazing how hard it is to see you. But once again, make sure you spawned at the A flag, because the people that spawn at the C flag have bright white uniforms. Alright, so that's all I have for this episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave me a like. I'll talk to you guys next time.